Hello and welcome to another video. So in this video, we'll be doing some examples of matrix multiplication to hopefully build some problem solving skills as to how matrix multiplication actually works. In the earlier video, we talked about some theory behind matrix multiplication and geometrically what it means and how it works. In this video, we'll be doing a few examples of how the matrix multiplication actually works. And then hopefully we had enough examples, we can kind of ease our way into matrix multiplication and kind of understand how to do them comfortably. Okay, so the first thing we have to know in order to define the idea of matrix multiplication, which we briefly did in the last video, the number of rows in the first matrix has to be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. Let me correct that. The number of columns in the first matrix has to be the same as the number of rows in the second matrix. So in other words, if I give you A times B, well, what I'm saying is the number of columns in A has to equal the number of rows in B. If this is not true, then you can't do matrix multiplication. So as an example, you can multiply 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2, 3, 4, 5, for example. And the reason is because you the number of columns here is 2, and the number of rows here is also 2. So 2 equals 2, so we're good to go. However, if you have something like this, for example, so 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 1, 5, well, in this case, the number of columns is 2, but the number of rows is just 1. So you can't do anything in this case. Okay, what about the next one? Let's do one more example. So we have 1, 2, 3, 0, negative 1, 2. And we're multiplying this by 2, 1, 5, 0, 2, minus 1, 3, 0, 2. Okay, well in this case, we have how many columns? 1, 2, 3, so 3 columns. And we have 1, 2, 3, we have 3 rows. So this is also okay. So despite it being a different size, we can still do matrix multiplication. So let's go ahead and talk about how to do these with these few examples, how to actually compute the matrix product. Okay, so suppose, so example, I give you the following matrix. So A equals one, three, zero, four, negative two, five, negative eight, and nine. And suppose C is equal to eight, negative three, two, negative one, five, ten, zero, seven, three, two, negative four, and five. Okay, so suppose you want to compute A times C. So first of all, is the pro matrix product defined? Yes, because we have one, two, three, four columns, and we have one, two, three, four rows. So yes, we can do we can do multiplication. So if you go ahead and do this, we'll get the following matrices. So let me just copy paste this. Okay. Now we can delete that and then move this over here. Okay, so remember, as we mentioned in the previous video, you, you take the rows and you multiply by the columns. So what's really going on with these entries is the following. So we get one times eight plus negative three times negative three plus zero times two plus four times negative one, so that'll be the first entry. So once again, that was just me going first row times first column. We would do the exact same thing with the second entry. So this time, we would get the exact same thing, but we use the second column. 
So let me just go ahead and copy paste this same thing. Or let's just write this down. So let's see, we get one times five plus negative three times ten plus zero times zero plus negative eight times negative seven. So we take this thing and multiply it by this thing. So we have done that, so nothing special. And then let's keep going. And then this one is gonna be one times three plus negative three times two plus zero times negative four plus four times five. So that'll be the last entry in this top one. And the second one, well, it's gonna be similar. So it's gonna be minus two times eight plus five times negative three plus negative eight times two plus nine times negative one. So that's this second one multiplied by this first column. And it's gonna be negative two times five plus five times zero or not zero times 10 plus negative eight times zero plus nine times negative seven. And the next one is gonna be minus two times three plus five times two plus negative eight times negative four plus nine times five. And if you compute each of these entries, you'll get the following matrix. It'll be 13, negative 56, negative 53, minus 23, 17, and 81. So that was the result of me multiplying these two matrices together. So once again, not too bad. Now let's ask another question. Can we compute the other direction? So is CA possible? Well, no, and the reason it's not possible is because the number of columns in that case is three, but the number of rows is two. So C times A is undefined. We can't go the other direction. So we just write that down. So this is undefined. Okay, let's do another one of these. So suppose I give you the following matrix. So A is equal to one, four, two, two, six, three, three, negative one, zero. And B is one, three, five, two, four, six. And that will be our matrix that we're multiplying or the matrices. So we have to go A times B. Once again, we have three columns and three rows. So we are allowed to do multiplication here. So there's no issues here. So if you go ahead and do this, well, we get this row multiplied by this column, each of the entries rather. That will give us 22 if you do this out. And here, this will go as 28. So it's this column times this, sorry, this row times this column. That will go as 28. We would do the same thing with the other one. So this made it this row times this column. That will go as 17. Then the same second row multiplied by the second column. That will go as 26. Okay, and let's keep going. So the third row multiplied by the first column, that's 11. Third row multiplied by second column, that's 16. So, so far, that is gonna be our matrix product. Okay, now, here's another fun example. The order in which you multiply matrices matters. So it's supposed to give you the following matrices. So three, negative one and seven, 10, one, negative eight, and negative five, 
two, four. Okay, so D is negative one, six, seven, four, two, four, and nine, negative one, and seven. Okay, the order in which you multiply matrices matters because remember from the previous video, a, 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 a matrix multiplication is just an application of transformations across the space. So the order in which you do transformations is going to completely change the final output of an arbitrary vector. So let's compute how this works. So if you go B times D, well, that's going to equal to 40, negative 60. 45, 38, 10, 0, 77, 33, minus 90. So let's see what happens with B, D and B. So same thing. We would take the rows and multiply by the columns. So we take this, multiply by that, take this, multiply by that, take this, and multiply by that. So again, nothing too out of place. So, if you go ahead and do this, well, we'll get negative 8 here, ne uh, 43, 26, 23, minus 6, 11, minus 3, 22, and 45. Okay, so both of those, as you can see, give very different results, even if you add them in different orders, because normally in numbers, 3 times 4 is the same thing as 4 times 3. However, in matrices, that's not usually true. So we gotta be a little bit careful about how we these uh, yeah, about how we multiply the water the matrices. Okay. So in general, we take the rows and multiply by the columns to get the matrices. Okay, let's write out some properties. So these are some useful properties of matrix multiplication. So the first one is the following. So A times BC is equal to AB times C. The next one is A times B plus C is equal to AB plus BC. Okay, next one. So B plus C times A is equal to BA plus CA. Remember, you can't inter you can't inter interchange the order. So next one. If you have A times B minus C, so this one is a bit different. This is equal to AB minus AC. Okay, next one. B minus C times A is equal to BA minus CA. Okay, so let's do another one. Any scalar K times BC is equal to B times the same scalar k times c. Okay. And those are our properties. So we talked in the last video that we could write matrix multiplication as a linear combination of the coordinates that we're transforming. So we can kind of do a similar example in that kind of regard about how to do matrix multiplication. So let's go ahead and do an example of this. So suppose I give you the following so example. So 4, negative 12, 0, 1, 1, negative 5, 2, 3, and minus 10, minus 1, 2, and 9. And here, x is equal to 2, negative 1, 6, 8. Okay, so we have to go ahead and multiply these. So 
let me, let me make this very clear. The first matrix is equal to A. Okay, so A times X. Well, we can rewrite this as the first matrix. Times the second matrix. Okay, so if you go row and column and multiply these out, well, we get 4 times A2 plus 1 times A1 plus 6 times 12 minus 8. That gives us 11. Second method, we get 9. And this gives us 17. However, we can also compute the matrix, the matrix product like so. So we could also say that AX is equal to 2 times 4, negative 12, 0, minus 1 times 1, 1, negative 5, plus 6 times 2, 3, minus 10, and then finally, plus 8 times negative 1, 2, and 9. But if you go ahead and do this, you'll get the exact same answer of 11, 9, and 17. So meaning either method that we use for matrix multiplication will work out. It doesn't matter what you do, it will still work out regardless. And that is it for that is it for this video. So if you have any questions about any of the concepts or the examples or the theorems, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. But otherwise, if this video helped you, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll greatly appreciate it. Thank you all so much and have a great day.